And we now move on to other topics. The Speaker of the South Korean National Assembly, Woo Won-shik, and called the joint exercise of presidential power by the Prime Minister and the ruling party unconstitutional. This comes after Prime Minister Han duk so and the leader of the ruling People's Power Party, Han Dong-hong, vowed to minimize the chaos through an early and orderly departure of the president after announcing their decision to jointly exercise presidential power. He also criticized the ruling power for not participating in the constitutional due process of voting for a no-confidence motion. The Speaker of the South Korean National Assembly recalled that if the Prime Minister and the ruling party were to jointly exercise presidential power, they would be in flagrant violation of the constitution. It is a clear commitment that the Prime Minister and the ruling party will jointly exercise the right of the President, which no one else has given, without participating in the legal procedures that ask for the responsibility of the President. And also the President of the National Assembly of South Korea, Woo Won-shik, reminded that only the people can grant and remove presidential power and that the process must be governed by the Constitution. I would like to start by saying that the legislation is not in the hands of the people. The president cannot decide the adoption of the power of the president. The power of the president and the adoption of the power of the president are both from the people, and the procedure must be in accordance with the principles of the constitution and the sovereignty of the people. In other news, in Burkina Faso, the presidential junta appointed a former Minister of Education, Culture, Arts and Tourism, Riptal Bajin Emmanuel Wedrogo, as new Prime Minister. This way, the President Ibrahim Traoré dissolved the government and decreed on Friday the termination of functions of the former Prime Minister, Apollinaire Joaquim Clem de Tambala, who served as head of three successive governments since 2022. The decree expresses that the Prime Minister's official functions are terminated with the country's Secretary General of Government making the announcement. Burkina Faso, a previous French colony, has prioritized restoring national sovereignty and has frequently criticized Western powers. The President of Burkina Faso head of state, in line with the Constitution and the Transition Charter of October 14, 2022 and its amendment of May 25, 2024, decrees that Mr. Riem Talba Yeni Manuelo Wadrogo is appointed Prime Minister. And the former president of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, won the elections held this Saturday in the West African country and will take office as head of state for a four-year term. Mahama, candidate of the National Democratic Congress Party, bid the candidate of the New Patriotic Party, the MPP, the current Vice President Mahmoudou Baumia, winning the presidential election. After the result was known, Baumia conceded the defeat and expressed his congratulations to Mahama for the victory while expressing his full support for the transition process. Mahama served as the nation's president from the year 2012 to 2017, the first president born after Ghana's independence from the United Kingdom in 1957. And in other news, the Russian government denounced Ukraine's refusal to engage in dialogues on the conditions for peace negotiations. The Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov detailed that the proposal for peace negotiations have already been presented by the Russian President Vladimir Putin. However, they have been repeatedly rejected by the Ukrainian side, whose authorities maintain the refusal to start talks. Recently, the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, by decree prohibited himself and his administration from any contact with the Russian executive cabinet to discuss diplomatic agreements. The last round of talks between Moscow and Kiev to reach an agreement to end hostilities took place in the year 2022 and have not been resumed since.